This is your man, Javier, man. Welcome back to my second channel and also my Instagram. I just want to show off another part of my hobby life. This is something that I have been into for a very, very long time. I actually started getting into this hobby. This is the reason why I started collecting is um, radio control cars. I've been into this hobby ever since 1984. Got out of it for quite some time. Got back into it about a couple years ago. I've been messing with it and playing with it for a very long time. Yes, it can be a very expensive hobby, but it's a good hobby to get into. Um, I will get into more about the detail about this hobby if you just give me a chance. And um, and tell you more about the car in little small videos. So stay tuned. More exciting reviews is coming your way on about radio control. My radio control car that I've gotten back into. These cars you can buy in kit that you can put in together, but this one called a ready to run. It means everything that is is together. Only thing you have to do is charge up the battery, and there's the battery right there, right on there. Now the the correct way to charge this battery up is to charge it on a slow charger that you would use in the house, and probably charge up at least eight eight hours to maybe twenty four hours to give a nice charge. If you don't, this uh, the battery will lose a lot of its charge and it won't stay as charged as long. These cars can give you, if you charge up correctly, just for nice fun, it can at least last about an hour on one good charge. And these pins right here, um, they are removable. They do go inside of the um, of the body. And I'll show you the, the, the body uh, one, one second. And here's the pins right here. And this, these are the type of bodies you can get. Now, the correct way to, to paint this body, a one ten scale vehicle means that it takes ten of these vehicles at this at the radio control length to be a length of one regular size car. That's what it means. Now do you see these shocks right here? Now these shocks you can put like a, a damp on there. They do have where they can spring up and down on each side and everything. It also, believe it or not, even have a braking system in these cars. As you can see right well, in these wheels. And then if I did turn on, you would hear where the car will go back and forth. Right there. And these wheels do not turn. Just the, um, this is the front. Right here. And like I said, everything on here is modified. I mean, it's not modified. And then some of these cars you can buy as a kit. This one I already bought as it's already, it's called a ready to go. So pretty much all you have to do is pretty much wrap up this view these cars also can go different variety of speeds um i have heard some people even got these cars to go as fast as 60 miles per hour um the fastest i ever got one miles to go and this one is maybe between 25 to maybe 30 miles per hour that is really a good speed to get it in at all to get in those type of speeds and they can be kind of dangerous but fun also but um hope you enjoy my view. Everybody have a good day, good night, and enjoy your collection. And this part right here, I did hit a wall, if anybody want to know. And I do have the parts to fix that. Like I said, you can fix these parts, modify it any type of way you want to. So this being broke is not even an issue to me. Very simple and easy fix to do. So everybody have a good day, good night, and everybody enjoy your collection. And I'll talk to y'all guys later in the next set of review with Hyman. Man. It's the page from the inside. And this part right here is not painted at all. This part outside of it is not painted. It's just the inside is painted. And you put the details on the outside. And that would give it the illusion like it is. The reason why you do that, it, like if you get scratch marks and stuff on that, it can it would still give it some, make it still look good. There's, there's the flinting of this body, supposed to be like that, is good for the racing to keep the to keep it very lightweight more like a like a nascar and you can detail it up any way you want to i don't even have to keep these on here and this spoiler is made out of hard plastic it keeps some of the weight down as you can see and it is screwed on see and, and uh, there's the pins right there you can see right there is some pins right here pancakes in the dark but there are pins and that's my review on my Vehicle to a car.